Okay, they had one medical transport pull out. They got two in the bar parking lot over there. Usually this early in the morning, it's for the workers. So, how you doing today? Hey, how are you? All right. Morning. Hey, good morning. How you doing? All right. I figured I'd spend the whole day to the whole day till eleven thirty filming over here. <laughs> <laughs> you can take a picture. No, I can I can take all you kinds can of take pictures. A picture. You can. Why is that? You can take a picture. Here. I, I can take no, pictures. You can. Okay, you I can. can. The law says I can under the First okay. Amendment. No, this is a public. Uh, You're right. This you is a public do. sidewalk. Yes, I can take can as take many pictures as I want. No, you can take a picture. In here, okay? I can take as many pictures as I want. If you guys can accuse me of stuff I'm not doing, I can take as many pictures as I want. Check the check the uh, First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. I know, I know about it, but uh, well, you don't know about it, otherwise you wouldn't be telling me I can't take pictures. But you can take a picture, sir. <laughs> well, I'm doing it. If you don't like it, you can call the police, and the police will tell you the same thing. Okay. <clears throat> Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> As you can see, they had one leave when I first got here, and they got three medical transportation vehicles right here. So how much do you guys get paid to transport people? Um, kind of starts around 10 bucks an hour for our company. There's more for others, 12 to 15. So that's what you get so paid, or is that I'm what? I'm getting 10, 50 now. 10, 50. But 12 is where the boss really wants to, you know, dangling that carrot out there. But I'm also hearing from other companies are hiring at 12. Yeah. And if it's not, which we don't, come to our company. But anyway, it's. But how much? Growing. How much does your company get? Oh, to pay. I don't know what they. You I don't. don't know what the Medicaid or whoever pays us. Right. I know it's substantial. I heard someone say it was like a hundred dollars a trip or something like that. <coughs> I know that um, when they we were talking about uh, stretcher trips. Yeah. People on on a stretcher it takes two people, and they say just the pickup fee at the hospital or wherever. Is $175. Then the mileage and whatever else is even more. He said, "He said if you can have one stretcher van running all day on jobs, it'll pay the payroll for the whole, all the employees working that day in the wheelchair <laughs> vans for a day or two. Yeah. So it's the the stretcher stuff is really good money, I guess. Oh yeah. Um, I think the wheelchair stuff is profitable, but not. Mm -hmm. not super good, but that's that's my understanding of it. Right. Yeah, me and dude got into an argument down there, right? He goes, uh, you can't film here. I go, wait a second. Under the First Amendment, I can. Public sidewalk. Yeah. And then on top of it, if you guys can sit there and say, I'm doing stuff I'm not doing, then I can film. And he's like, you can't film. I go, well, if you don't like it, call the police. Yeah. They'll tell you I can. <laughs> <coughs> so. So what are you filming? Just I, I'm going to film a documentary on the methadone clinics, and uh, I had a friend of mine that was going, actually she was my girlfriend, we were involved in a relationship, and we were going to get married, and... Uh, That's pretty slow, is that lift okay? Going down? <laughs> she, uh, she was on the meth... Really? The floor, yeah. You maybe want to have that one looked at. She... They, she, should, they shouldn't be like that. Yeah. Before, for last year, going up fast, down fast. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I don't know. You they, might they, put put that in your issues on that vehicle, or maybe they need to look at it. But I, yeah, this one is I was, I mean, mine goes. Oh, yeah. This one is. 
As you can see, there's a large crowd down there. The synthetic heroin is a good business, booming business. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, I had a I had a girlfriend that was coming here where we were engaged. They kicked her off the clinic. She she, she was um, she was addicted to pain medication, right? So they were giving her methadone instead of pain medication. Right. And um, she got caught with a dirty test, so they kicked her off the clinic. And uh, about three months after they kicked her off the clinic, she OD'd on pain medication. Oh, really? Yeah, she wouldn't have OD'd if they wouldn't have kicked her off the clinic. Uh, yeah, they're strict about all of this. Yeah. So maybe I'm going to go help this guy here. All right. All right. <laughs> huh? Did you call him? Yes, I did. And what'd they say? Well, they're going to show up. All right. I like them showing up. <clears throat> See, there's another medical transportation van. Medical transportation's making a fortune off these people. the clinic from mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Huh? Because I'm making a documentary. Okay. How you doing? 
How you doing today? And the police just showed up. You can video him too. I know I can. I do it all the time. It doesn't mean. <laughs> Okay. 
videotape. Yeah. Okay. Under the First Amendment, I have a right to videotape. What's going on? I'm videotaping, making a documentary of the methadone clinics. Okay. Well. <laughs> Of it? Yeah, I want to make a documentary. I know. For what, though? What's the purpose? Well, I disagree with methadone clinics, and I want to express my view on TV. Okay. Well, you are correct that we can't stop you from taking pictures or video or anything like that. Uh huh. I only ask if you could do it across the street or something like that, so we don't have like confrontation. Or like that. Well, there shouldn't be a confrontation anyway, even on yeah, this side. You know that's not going to be the case. People aren't going to see it that way. Right. I mean, Excuse me. That just says what it is. Yeah. Oh, if I'm over there, people are going to complain too. Yeah. At least it's not in front of the place. I mean. Yeah. I, I understand the First Amendment and people's right to take pictures, and there's nothing mm -hmm. sanctuary about being in public here. So. Right. But. Uh, yeah, they've called you guys before about me filming, and the other officer said he's allowed to film here. Okay. You know. What are you, you filming for? Um, I'm with Film the Police Portland, but I'm doing a special documentary on the methadone clinics. So. Yeah, that's my uh, only request is maybe do it across the street or do it yeah. at the end of the block or something yeah. like that. All right. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know, but I'm going to cross at the corner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> mm hmm. Let's see. License plate of this police vehicle is E251374. <clears throat> ID number is 110071. This police vehicle is E two four one eight four one. No, I'm doing a documentary on methadone clinics. And the methadone clinic called the police saying that I was videotaping, that it violates everyone's civil rights. And the cops sitting there saying, nope, he can videotape. Write stuff up about it and stuff on the paper? Or on no, I plan on making a TV thing on it, are on you, public broadcast. Are you, gonna, uh, are you for the clinic, for the people? No, I'm against the clinic. Oh, you're against having them? Yep, I'm against having them. Hmm. <sighs> 
So do you have the right to do this? Yep. Under the First Amendment, they just found out. What if you get your picture in there and you don't want it in there? There's nothing anyone can do. It's just like news media. If they're shooting a news article and you're walking across the street, same thing. support for uh on our side like a lawyer to back us up when we need help right it seems like it's only them i have a um film the Pol i'm with film the police portland we have two lawyers that deal with constitutional law that just begging to get the police for anything and a methadone clinic or two more and a methadone clinic or two might be just a little extra I'll probably hit up Coda next week. You're on a jail? No. Mm-hmm. You wrote up one of my phones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, they're gonna love that. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> and when fire department. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> <coughs> mm. See ya. See ya. Have a good day. And ID number is 090075. Mm hmm. Shoot, that's just asking. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Stuff's good to cut. Mm hmm. 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 M